Hi, Rick here. In today's video, we're going to talk about IEC 61131 programming in the RTAC. And I also have here the SEL 3505-3, which is our newest member of the RTAC family. It's very small and compact, has eight digital inputs and three digital outputs, and has all the standard features of a regular RTAC. So today, let's talk about inserting a 61131 project into Accelerator RTAC. So here I have the project open. And from the insert ribbon, I click on IEC 61131-3, and I can select a program. The program allows you to program your own user logic. You can access any tags that are in the RTAC. You can make assignments, and you can issue controls. When I click on the program, I get the chance to change the program name to whatever I want. It needs to be unique in the project. You can't have two programs with the same name. And also select the language. Currently, we support continuous function chart, which is a graphical editor, structured text, and ladder diagram or ladder logic. So I'm going to select structured text first. And you can see here that I have a programming window. The top pane allows you to put in variables. Now these variables can be anything that you want and they're local to that program. So I can't access those variables outside of the program. In other words, anywhere else in the Accelerate RTAC project. So I enter the variables that I want. And then down at the bottom pane, I can enter the logic, and it's all structured text in this example. So here I'm comparing a couple things that are mirror bits that I'm bringing in from an SEL device. So in this pane, I can access any tags that are global in the entire project. So I compare these two, and if they're both true, then I'm going to issue a opera pulse command to an output. Let's do the same thing with continuous function chart. So again, I go to the 61131, select new program, call it continuous function chart. Same thing at the top, you have the variable area. And I'm doing something a little bit different here that I'm explaining in just a second. So the first couple blocks here show that I have two inputs. I'm anding them together, and the output of that and function will set an output in the RTAC, just like I did before. But a couple different things. One, there's a toolbox over here on the far right hand side. So if you hover over that, you can see that the toolbox pulls out. And you can grab any of the devices that are in the toolbox, drag them over to your pane. For example, here I drug over a couple inputs. You can drag over a box. And then as you put the box there and start typing, an input assistant will come up and, and tell you what all is available. So if I start typing AND, for example, there's AND. If I start typing a T ON, then there's a T ON timer. And that brings me to this other thing that I've done in this program, which is create a function block of a T on timer. So I have a value coming in, which is a status value, an STVAL, as my input. The timer, and this is talked about in depth in the RTAC manual, the timer is a T pound 3S, which means three seconds, is my input timer. At the end of the input, then Q, which is the output, will go true. To configure a function block, you enter T on, or whatever the function block may be. And you also need to make an instance of it. In another video, when we talk about function blocks, I go into depth about making instances of function blocks. But this is how you do it. And you can see here, up here is the name of the function block that I defined up at the var section. So that's just something to keep in mind, and you can see more in the function block video. Ladder diagram, very similar. You have the variable area. And here, you could put your ladder rungs. And I have a ladder rung that does the same thing as the other programs. I'm anding two things together, and I have an output. In the toolbox, you'll notice it looks a little differently because it's ladders. You can select those. You can go down to ladder elements. There are a lot more things you can select. And you can also right click anywhere in here and select different things like adding a network, inserting a coil, etc. And that's pretty much it. That's the basic building blocks of creating a program in IEC 61131-3 in the RTAC. So you don't have to buy another editor. You don't have to map tags. It's all just built in, and it's part of the product. You can definitely find out more information in the reference guide in the instruction manual, or you can give us a call here at SEL if you have any questions. Thanks.